Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another edition here of Intuitive Angling. Really appreciate you guys coming in and watching the video. And today we're gonna to be doing a video on what I consider one of the most important things in bass fishing if you own a boat. And that's, I'm gonna give you guys all the juice, all the information that you need on becoming a master at running a trolling motor. Because I'm promising you right now, if you don't know how to run a trolling motor correctly and you're not maximizing the potential of your trolling motor and boat positioning, you are cutting back on a lot of fish you could be catching otherwise. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a lot of really good juice here. And I'm gonna, uh, tomorrow actually, we're leaving for uh, Las Vegas. My wife Kim's got a powerlifting, the nationals, the uh, powerlifting national championships in Las Vegas. So I'm gonna try to sneak over at Lake Mead and <clears throat> I'm not gonna have the boat with me, but I'm gonna try to sneak over at the Lake Mead and do some videos this week. So you guys need to keep an eye out for that. Okay guys, let's talk a little bit about the trolling motors here. Um, I One of the the least talked things about in bass fishing, one of the things that gets swept over and overlooked as far as how critical it is, is your ability to become an expert at a trolling motor and position your boat correctly. You just don't hear much about it guys, and it has a huge, I'm talking a huge impact on how many bass you catch. So I sort of wanna go through and give you guys a, sort of a foundation on what I think a lot of people overlook a lot of times and uh, we'll go through that a little bit. First of all, one of the biggest mistakes that I see people running trolling motors with is they, they set their dial up too fast. They, a lot of guys put their dials on six, seven, something like that. And they just, they, when they hit it, they just, you know, it, the boat lurches forward a little bit on and off like that. Guys, stop doing that. That is not the way you want to set your trolling motor. You should set your trolling motor speed at the lowest pa possible um, speed that will allow you to efficiently cover the water you need based upon the wind or the current or whatever like that. That's the main thing. You need to re remain stealthy at all times. And second with that, when another reason why this is really important is if you have your trolling motor on a lower speed, you don't have to take your foot on and off of the on button on the trolling motor. And I've talked to guys that have dove a lot before and observed bass behavior, and they say that it's not necessarily the trolling motor that spooks the bass, but it's the on and off noise of the trolling motor. So by keeping that speed lower, you know, you're gonna avoid that on and off uh, speed with that. Um, the next thing that you have to learn, and this is something that takes practice, is you have to understand a little bit about boat momentum as you move down a bank or as you approach cover with your trolling motor. And without a doubt, probably one of the, another top mistake that I see guys make is if they go down a bank and they're fishing cover, whether it be docks or lay downs or grass beds or whatever like that, they tend to come in too hot on that piece of cover or they come in too slow. They're not coming in at the right speed when they make their cast. And a lot of times they get on top of the fish or they're too far away to make an accurate cast. One of the things that you really have to learn and every boat's different is you have to learn the glide speed of your boat as far as how, how, how fast or slow that your boat glides after you take your foot off the trolling motor. A true trolling motor master, you use your glide to your advantage because you position the boat anticipating the glide speed into that piece of cover. And this is something that comes with practice. So what you want, let's just say, for example, that you're, fish, you're coming up on a boat dock. You wanna make sure that you come up on that dock at the exact right speed, because you don't wanna come up on that dock too fast to where you get too close to the dock. And then you gotta reverse the troll motor and you throw a bunch of backwash up underneath the dock. That is gonna kill your chances of catching the fish. Doesn't matter if it's a dock or if it's a lay down or whatever like that. What you want to do is, and on the other side of the coin, is you don't want to come in too slow to where you're not efficient and you can't cover the right amount of water and you're too far away from the target to make the accurate presentation that you need to make. There's a fine line between coming in too fast and too slow, and you have to take into consideration the wind, the current, the drift speed on your boat and the technique that you're using because some techniques require a clo closer approach. If you're pitching and flipping a jig around a dock, you're obviously gonna have to be closer than if you're like, you know, making a long cast with a spinnerbait or chatterbait down the side of the docks and covering a lot of water. So 
that's all the technique re related with that. So that is something that it's sort of like driving a boat or driving a car. When you're driving your trolling motor like that, that is something that takes a lot of time and it's worth practicing. It's worth going out and spending some time understanding your boat movements like that. And like I said, it all changes with the wind, the wind direction, current, all that type of stuff. So next thing you got to remember in that when you're talking about, uh, you know, using your trolling motor, always think in terms of being stealthy. And when I'm talking about stealth, I'm talking about not only having that trolling motor at a lower speed, but be very aware when you pick that trolling motor up and set it down to the water. I see a lot of guys, they pull their trolling motor up out of the lock position, they flop it over the front of the boat and it just crashes and hits the trolling motor bracket. Guys, lower your trolling motor quietly into the water. You know, that is so critical. You got to be stealthy in the sport if you're gonna catch anything with that. So that is just a few foundational tips that I'll give you guys with trolling motors. Um, don't take it for granted because man, it's everything is like, it's like a puzzle in bass fishing and using your trolling motor efficiently is, is just as important as being a good caster or being in the right place or having the right lure on. It's just, it's another aspect of that that doesn't get enough attention. So try it. I promise it'll make you guys a better fisherman. You're going to catch more fish as a result. You'll be able to turn your fishing more and more into an art form. And uh, it's a, a good deal with that. Also, I'll throw, one other th I'll throw one other thing in there. Take your shoes off, guys. You will, if you take your shoes off and fish in sock feet or barefooted, you have so much more freedom of movement on that trolling motor than if you got some big clod hopper boots on or tennis shoes or anything like that. Um, it just allows you to be a little bit more stealthy and it's more comfortable once you get used to it. And again, for all you guys say, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna get hooks in my foot. Feet. Guys, I fit, I've done this for 50 years fishing without shoes. Never one time got a hook in my foot. So I think that's a pretty good record. So anyway, guys, appreciate you guys tuning in. Please hit that subscribe button. Be much appreciated and we'll talk later.